Hello Scorpio, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead. Scorpio, how are you? Look, hey, happy birthday. Um, how's the birthday month been so far? Um, for those of you who have put your birthday in the comments, thanks for doing that and letting me celebrate with you a little bit. And if you are having a birthday today, happy birthday. And if it's coming up soon, happy birthday early. So I've got a couple of Oracle decks here. We are looking at the week ahead as we always do. So the week ahead is actually at the end of the week ahead. We are looking at a full moon that's coming up. It is a full moon in Taurus, but because it's in Scorpio season, Scorpio energy is offered as well, right? And so it's going to help us a little bit with self-discovery and maybe prioritizing ourselves, reflecting, right? It's your, your energy is a reflective type energy, um, you know, reassessing partnerships possibly, um, and, uh, you know, maybe just feeling yourself. Let's find out what's going on in the week ahead for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Right, we do have freedom, we have adventure, and at the end of the week we have approve. Let's take a look and see what all of those mean. Bottom of the deck we have create. I feel like there, um, you, you begin the week with feeling like you can do anything. I want to say that you're feeling the freedom to be who you are, do what you want. It feels like throughout the week here that some other things will come up. We've got adventure and approve, and we'll see what those mean. Let's get some more energy on the table for you here, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpio, if you're interested in a private read, you know what to do. Look at the pinned comment below. We'll take you over to um, Wizio. All right. So the freedom to make decisions. I kind of like that. The need to gain clarity through decision making. So the freedom to make decisions. So I feel like you are going to be making some sort of decisions um, coming up in the week ahead here. And I feel like... Um, yeah, it's all about you. It says the freedom to make decisions. You're going to do it whether other people want you to do it or not. You feel free to be able to do that. Tell me why adventure is here. You're going to gain some sort of clarity, which is going to help you make some sort of a decision that may actually make you feel a little more free. Uh, we do have leap of faith. Well, isn't that interesting? So we have adventure and a leap of faith. It says taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. Very interesting, since there are decisions uh, that will bring you freedom, possibly, or the freedom to make decisions. Uh, we do have taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. I feel like this uh, there might be a, an opportunity for an adventure that's coming up in the week ahead for you here. Tell me about approve. What does the universe approve of here? Got a new opportunity. Well, look at that. Very interesting. Got some interesting energy for you here in the week ahead. So it looks like the universe is approving some sort of a new opportunity. You are going to be possibly taking a leap of faith. And what does that mean? That means that, you know what, you're going to have this feeling of, yeah, I feel like it's mine. I feel like I should do it. Let's go ahead and do that thing. Um, it says here, insights gained from a new experience, a job or a partner. So for some of you, it could be any of those things, a new experience, a new idea, feeling free to make the decision to take a leap of faith in the week ahead. It's it's very clear energy here. Uh, why do we have create? You're creating balance. I really love that. Look at that. You're creating balance in the week ahead um, and in the flow. So you're out of the doorway and into the flow. What does that mean? Well, for me, it means that you're you're not playing doorman, right? You're not telling people who, who has to stay in your life. You're not asking people to arrive. You're just getting out of the doorway and letting people arrive and leave as they will. Look at that. we got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. It says a passionate connection, shared vision and values. So for some of you, not all of you, of course, this leap of faith could be into some sort of a new relationship or maybe you're meeting someone new. Let's take a look at the tarot. Tell me about the tarot for uh, Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio. Freedom for decisions here. Decision making. It feels like you're going to gain some clarity through some sort of decision process here. Tell me about this. It's like something you're going to decide on that's going to release. It's going to give a release. You're going to feel free. And I'm just saying that because we got somebody in the balloon right there. It feels like it's like a, something that's going to take a, a heaviness off of you. It feels like it's going to make you feel lighter. You're going to be able to release something early in the beginning of the week. Uh, we do have the Five of Cups here that has showed up. 
Um, it just flipped out in the middle of the deck, so I took it. So we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like you're making some sort of a decision to release some sadness, some regret. It does feel like it might be from the past, I feel. Um, I feel like your decision, what you're kind of letting go or releasing here, is the heaviness of sadness or of things that didn't work out the way you wanted them to. This isn't any really sort of deep depressional sadness. This is sort of like, you know, I wish that would have worked out and it didn't. The party is over. It's water under the bridge, though. I feel like, you know, there's, um, when I look at this, there's, you know, water going under the bridge. And then we do have that there's this big castle. It's like, I can get to the other side of the river. It feels like I, you just need to stop focusing on the negativity, uh, negative things, negative attitudes, ne negative ideas, thinking negatively about other people. Um, I feel like you are releasing all of that in the week ahead here, Scorpio. Uh, we do have Leap of Faith. Look, it's something new. I feel like you're you're open to uh, trying out something new, that you're on an adventure. For some of you, you could be going on a, a trip. You could be actually traveling, uh, taking a leap of faith and maybe going somewhere you never did before. Uh, it's kind of like you're you're leaping into the beauty of the unknown. And really, that's what the Page of Cups is. It's all about surprises, right? You can see that person is, you know, they've scooped water out of the out of the water, the body of water behind them there. And they were surprised to see that there is there is a fish. It feels like you're meeting somebody new, making a new friend, possibly taking a leap of faith into something that is heart center, like heart space related, I want to say. So it's um it's centered around the emotional energy. For some of you, if this isn't a person that you're meeting and this isn't an adventure that you're taking in terms of going traveling, I feel like this is the beginning of you opening up to the fact that you do have intuitive energy and you're going to start trusting yourself more about the friends that you're making. This is the beginning of um, waking up, right? It's like starting to trust yourself. I'm going to trust what I think about me rather than what other people think about me or what other people are telling me to be. So I feel like that might be the leap of faith for some of you. We've got um, uh, a new opportunity that the universe is approving. Tell me what this is, please. I feel like you'll be saying yes to a new opportunity because it says approve, right? Tell me more. Tell me about Scorpio. got the five of swords so it says here there's a new opportunity now i feel like this new opportunity is going to show up scorpio and you're going to be giving it the side eye i feel like the five of swords tells me that you're going to be immediately up in your head thinking about should i do this should i not do this this is a new opportunity and i feel like you should take a moment to act on this intuition here this little bit of intuition you have maybe it's a little maybe it's a lot it's going to be different for all of you we're not all healing at the same rate we're not all having realizations at the same rate and so um i feel like uh that it says insights gained from a new experience job or a partner so this new opportunity i feel that when it shows up um that maybe you're not exactly sure about it. I want to say that you will eventually say yes. It could involve somebody who is um, connecting to you in some sort of new emotional way. Um, I feel like you will. I feel like you are creating things in your mind that really aren't there, and it's based on your past um, energies. It's based on things that happened to you in the past, because we do have the Five of Cups here, which I feel in the middle, in, in the beginning of the week, you need to let that go. Or this, you know, it, it, it is a. This is these are minor arcana, which means you have a choice, right? You can make all sorts of choices. And I feel like if you decide, if you make the choice to let things go, I feel like you're able to approve the new opportunity. If you're a person who can't let things go and you're still in a negative mindset, we've got, you know, uh, negative emotions, negative mindset, then I feel like for you, that's uh, if this is something that probably isn't going to happen for you until you get to know the lessons that you need to learn in order to move forward. Now, we do have five, two fives. And for me as a reader, when one five shows up, it is lack. I mean, two fives are lack, but tells me that this is like a speed bump for you. It's like there's um, when there's more than one five in the reading for me, it's like quick change. Something's about to change quickly here. Tell me about the five of cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please, for Scorpio. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Moon Energy. And we've got the Seven of Swords. And so I think feel like this is what you're getting freedom from. I feel like um, you're making a decision to leave something behind um, the Moon Energy. Right? The Moon Energy is here. And so you're leaving behind uh, things that... Maybe, you know, I think that sometimes we're not clear as to why things happened in the past. It doesn't become more clear until we get more wisdom, until we get older, and then we can look back with more of a, 
an eye of wisdom, our third eye being open. So I feel like somebody here is like, you know what, I don't really know what went on back there. I'm not really exactly sure um, why, why somebody left or why somebody lied to me or why somebody cheated me. I think that's what the Five of Cups is about, that you're feeling, you know, this is something that I feel like you're letting go at the beginning of the week for those of you who are able to let it go. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. It could be that um, maybe you lost a job opportunity. Uh, it could be that maybe somebody lied to you about an opportunity back here, but we have a new opportunity showing up and based on past energy, you might be in the Five of Swords. Do you understand what I mean? So we do have a, a we have an Ace of Pentacles, which is the opportunity that's being given to you, but it's like the opportunity opportunity didn't really work out and you're not really sure why the seven of swords is here they lied they cheated you know whoever it was and then you feel bad about that but the new opportunity showing up but you're already feeling in this energy of the five of swords like giving it the side eye like i'm not really sure if i should trust you is this really what i want do we have the same set of beliefs or um is it is it not that way i'm really unsure tell me about the page of cups please We've got the world card. Ooh, we've got the judgment card. And we have the two of pentacles. So it does feel like here that you will be making a decision sometime in the midweek about whether you're going to take a leap of faith, take a small risk. And I feel like the small risk is, do I let somebody new into my life? Is this a new emotional thing? Is this a surprise? It's showing up and I'm not really sure. It's like it shows up in your 3D because the two of pentacles is here. It shows up in the 3D for you, Scorpio, and now you have to make an immediate decision. But the decision that you make, what you don't realize, I feel, what you don't realize is that um, it's going to change your life. It's going to put you on a different trajectory. You know, we always say that, readers, right? It's going to change your life. But I feel like depending on the decision that you make, you'll either go down this path or that path. And as we make decisions, right, with the two of pentacles, as we make decisions, when we make the decision, we also choose whatever is on the path, whether it's, you know, a good consequence or a bad consequence. So we do have the world. I really do feel that this is telling me that this reading is for somebody who's ready for change, somebody who's ready for something new, something, somebody who's ready to make a decision to go with their intuition, whether you have a little intuition or a lot, that you're going to take a leap of faith into some sort of adventure. For some of you, it's going to be love. For some of you, it will be a new opportunity in the 3D. Um, and uh, it, it's it's going to be different for everybody. The opportunity is whatever the opportunity is. Um, and it is your perception of what the opportunity is. So the world card tells me that if this is a love thing that you're jumping into, if you're meeting someone new, you could possibly be meeting someone who's a Cancer, maybe a Scorpio, Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Leo, maybe a Pisces or a Virgo. Um, uh, cancer, maybe. Yeah, I already said Cancer or Pisces, right? Tell me about Approve. Tell me about this new opportunity and why the Five of Swords is here. I think you're going to be caught up in your head just a little bit here. We've got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it shows up really strong. Like, it shows up as, look, this is, this is a new path of love. And I feel like the justice card tells me that the reason this is showing up is because you're having karmic clearance or you're being paid out in karmic justice. So this this is supposed to be happening for you because of something that an accumulated good karma that you have is being is being um, paid out to you here with this justice card. Things are coming. Uh, it's a res restoration, I want to say. It's a restoration, a restoring of things. And so I feel like you're going to side eye at first because I feel like you're coming from this energy. This energy, I feel like, is back there. I feel like it's uh, this is something that always happens to you, so you're, you think it's always going to happen to you. But I don't think that this is anything bad because we have the King of Pentacles here. I feel like you're going to be... Um, some of you meeting somebody who is very grown up, ready to settle down, somebody who is uh, who moves very slowly, someone who is very balanced in their energy. This is someone who's very giving and kind, uh, somebody who is probably um, gives donations to people in the community or to community organizations, nonprofit organizations. It feels like this person is, you know, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's interested in justice because the justice card is here. Now, I feel like it's uh, it's justice for you. I feel like the Ace of Cups and the justice is yours, that you're going to get good karma being poured out to you, karmic justice, right? Things that are being restored to you. But I feel like this person, possibly uh, the new opportunity is coming from the King of Pentacles. For some of you, this isn't a love opportunity 
opportunity at all. For some of you, it's it's an opportunity for work or for abundance or to make new money or to get a side hustle or for someone to teach you something about how to be stable in your pentacle energy, in your uh, 3D life, you know, the when it comes to your abundance. I just want to, before we go, talk about this leap of faith that you're taking here, because this seems like it's it's kind of an important leap of faith that by simply making a decision to allow somebody new into your life, that this person could be the one that offers you the job. This person could be the one that you're going to be um, the lovers with. This person could be someone who offers you a creative opportunity of some sort here. Tell me about, but whatever it is, it's taking you on an adventure. Tell me about this. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Hermit. So I'm going to say you're going to be safe as long as you use the wisdom that you've collected through all of this. You know, when, when people have a lot of hardship in their lives, it gives you a lot of wisdom. If you're willing to not look at it as suffering, but look at it as a lesson, why did this come to me and what can I learn from it? I feel like you're a person who's gained a lot of wisdom through a lot of hardship, things that you're not sure why they went wrong, but it feels like you're going to learn about those things. You're going to be having wisdom here. We've got the high priestess in the reverse. And when the high priestess is in the reverse, we're no longer silent about the wisdom. I feel like you're going to be sharing it with people. To me, the hermit energy is kind of like shamanism. It's like somebody who's got a lot of, a lot of, uh, um, um, a lot of wisdom, a lot of lessons. This is somebody who I feel has learned their lessons through uh, be, not being vulnerable. I feel you go from not being vulnerable with the Four of Pentacles, shut off, shut down, miserly with your time and your energy, to being really open, to talking to people, to taking this leap of faith, because now you have wisdom. I feel like you still are going to side eye it when it shows up because it seems too good to be true, but I feel like um, for some of you, this is going to be a really beautiful week in the week ahead for you. Um, don't forget on the weekend, right, The on um, the full moon comes up uh, in Australia on the 15th, right? Those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere, Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, um, those those uh, uh, countries. And then uh, for us uh, in the uh, Northern Hemisphere here, it comes up on uh, Saturday on the 16th. All right. The Six of Wands, things are about to get really joyous, exciting, victorious. I feel like you're about to get a lot of attention. Things are about to, you know, this is Leo energy, right? feels like you're, you're meeting a new group of people. Like you might meet somebody here in a group of people, or the opportunity could come to be in a group of people, meet some new friends, come out with me, let's go do something new. Let's find people who think the way I think, right? People who are going to be collaborative and cooperative here. And it seems like a really exciting week for you. And I think I like that for you. I'm going to go for now, Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you so much. And I'll be back, of course, because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.